we chose here at the APS March meeting 2024 to make a world first, which is the first ever working quantum computer on a conference floor. This is a Deleuze refrigerator, which produces temperatures down as low as about five millikelvin to enable quantum computing. We're showing a cabling system or a wiring solution for quantum computers. We've got a lot of openings on our team. You know, we're looking to recruit people from the APS meeting. The maturity is really progressing. And what we do here today shows that quantum technology is becoming a value chain. That it's not just about building one system, but building many pieces of the puzzle that together make a quantum system. Because this is still an early stage industry, um, there's a lot of that fundamental research that's got to happen. It is really a developing technology, but we're seeing major breakthroughs coming. Even in these early days, there's a lot of excitement, a lot of very quick growth, and it's really a pleasure to be a part of such a, a rapidly maturing industry. I'm most excited about uh, building a fault-tolerant quantum stack. So it means that a quantum computer can correct its own errors. That's the real way towards uh, making economically viable quantum systems. Being at Google, I'm most excited about quantum computing. And I think there are some really exciting applications in like the sustainability clean energy space for quantum computers, designing better batteries, modeling fusion energy so that we can make fusion energy a reality. I'm actually excited that it's a race and you see one going ahead and then the other one and then the other one. There's not really a choice being made yet. And that, that's quite cool. Actually. What I'm most excited about are some of the promising technologies, the applications, and being able to be part of the group that's enabling these uh, technologies. The next, I think, stage for the quantum computing industry is to address errors, which are a big problem in quantum computing, error correction, and that's really the big focus for our team. We're focused on building what we call a long-lived logical qubit. But these systems are not powerful enough yet for a practical, economically viable application. So to get there, it's a gradual process, but in the coming three, five, ten years will make huge leaps towards uh, these economical uh, viable solutions. If we look at the current pricing of qubits and, and all the, the hardware you need for it, it's really expensive. This has to come down. You see this in all the talks, you see this all the people talking about that. But I think in order to make uh, quantum technology mature and, and good for the industry, it, it has to come down. And I think that's, that's what we're all working on. So. There are a number of breakthroughs that are needed. The fundamental science has been proven out but the engineering of scaling, trying to get the, uh, the growth to the number of qubits that are needed. The entire stack needs to mature and, and there's a lot of development that needs to be done along the way. The APS March meeting is really the biggest one, where the people gather who bring the field uh, ahead.